Hello guys and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today we're doing another Shrimp Versus, but before we get to that I want you to hit that subscribe button and bell notification over here if you're new to the channel and want to see and learn more about these wonderful creatures, okay? Shrimp Versus is all about me doing different food um, items versus the shrimp to see which ones they will eat. Typically they will be your everyday household items that you will find in your fridge etc and your cupboards. So welcome to the show. Let's get on with it. Shrimp versus green bean. Okay, so I have some green beans here. These are the ones that are raw. I have tried to see what they'd be like in the tank and they float. Let's grab a little bit here. I don't think these will be of any use to us as they are. Well, this one sunk. It must have been because I had ear in it. I don't think they'll be of any use to us as they are because I don't think shrimp will eat them in this condition. Shrimp generally don't eat anything that is alive plant wise. So I have a microwave these ones here for I think it was roughly about four minutes. The green beans are quite tough so you really do need to uh, soften them up a little bit. These ones are nice and soft now. See them? We're going to do it a couple of different ways here. You have to be aware of, of uh, when you feed shrimp not to overfeed the tank, especially with green stuff because um, this will be full of nitrates, okay? The way we're going to do this with one of the tanks is I thought it would be cool if I could skewer it. So we're going to pop this in through one end. Oh, oh and, it's, and it's splitting, so that's a bit of a failure. I didn't think they would split. Split, you dumbass! How can we fix that? Could it go the other way then? Like this maybe? Yeah! Let's just cut this up a little bit. Cut it into pieces and we'll do it like that. It's not what I intended but it will do for the show today. Alright so this is probably the most I will ever want to really put in to attack it once. It's even splitting as I'm putting it onto the barbecue skewer. Let's see these bits here. Let's get rid of them. I don't want to put loads and loads on, so this barbecue skewer as well is a little bit long, so let's cut the length down a little bit to here, and we'll do this the same way on two of the tanks. But I'm pretty sure this would sink anyway, regardless of what I'm doing here, but it's just for a little bit of fun to see it on the barbecue skewer. This one's really soft. It's really soft, cut in half, and we'll put this into... Uh, one of the crystal black tanks, so we have one for the crystal reds, one for the crystal blacks. Let's put some in to the snails. I plan to put this into a few parts of the tank, so let's just put it in just now because snails take forever to move and we ain't got all day for that kind of S-H-I-T. Alright, so let's see. Sink. Sinking very nice. So we're not going to see instant results with this in this tank. I think the shrimp that are in here, the painted fire reds, will go onto it. Well, you can see this one's already just jump onto it as soon as this went in. But the snails will absolutely destroy this, I think. Let's get the wee skewers out. The wee barbecue skewers. Now one of them I will be able to put in like this. I do put the camera down, but this top one I don't think I will, just because I, I have not long enough arms and I'm quite a tall guy and I won't be able to reach. So let's get this into here. With a bit of luck it will stay. There you go. Let's get the other one. Let me see, can I reach? Let's put my whole arm in here. Just to reach. We want it near the front of the glass as well because you're going to get some music and a little still shot of this, I think. But we shall see if they even like it, okay? So far, they seem to be on it. It's only been a few seconds. Nice little panda there on the left. I'm going to switch over to macro mode now, guys, and you're going to get some music, as I said. Look at that beautiful little King Kong in there. 
Só um momento. How did it fare, green bean versus shrimp, or shrimp versus green bean, whichever way you want to say it. That's not looking too promising. What I did notice in this was the parts that I squashed and put in the shrimp were on it a little bit more. I mean, I cooked this for three or four minutes and it is quite soft, so... But, seeing that green bean is very fibrous, if you ever chew a green bean, it is quite hard to chew, but imagine your stomach would uh, struggle a little bit to digest it properly because it's so fibrous. It could be why they're not eating it like they would normally eat other foods, because for them it might be tough. Okay, let's have a look. Up here, similar kind of results up here. The fibrous green bean. Without it being smushed is not very not very good food for them. But I have no doubt in my mind that once this softens up a little bit they will destroy this anyway. You can see the bark here, here was a piece I did smush, I crushed it between my finger and put in, and they're happy enough to eat that. There's also another piece over here, I did the same thing, but they've carried it around the corner like they always do. So if you're going to feed green bean, I suggest that you overcook it and give it a little bit of a squeeze to make it more palatable for them, okay? I hope you've enjoyed today's show. If you have any questions at all regarding shrimp verses or anything at all to do with the shrimp, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Happy shrimp keeping, guys.